Hi, I'm Anna, and on this week's Saturday Adventure, we're going to a town that's been on fire for more than 50 years. Welcome to Centralia, an opening in the vein of coal that runs along Route 81 all the way through Pennsylvania till Scranton. Centralia was established in 1842, and by the 1860s, it was embroiled with violence by the Molly Maguires. The Great Potato Famine resulted in a large Irish population settling in Pennsylvania's anthracite region. While the Irish were technically free men, they were welcome in only the most dangerous and back-breaking professions. Workers were kept in company towns and paid in credit to company stores, but still coming up short on rent to the company at the end of the month. The Molly Maguires might not have been real. That was the word of the ten men executed in their name in 1877. Alexander Ray was a mine engineer and supervisor that had recently relocated to Centralia when he was murdered in 1868. A Pinkerton agent named James McPartland infiltrated the mining community and spent years gathering information against the Molly Maguires. Supposedly an offshoot of an Irish revolutionary group, the Mollies were blamed for terrorist attacks throughout the anthracite region in retaliation for the unbearable working conditions the Irish were forced to endure. Ray's killers were among the men brought to justice under questionable circumstances by McParland and hanged. As Alexander Campbell, one of the condemned men, was being led from his cell, he slapped his hand against the cell wall, declaring that his handprint would remain until his innocent name was cleared. According to legend, Campbell's handprint has defied all attempts to be removed to this very day.